The hardest I've ever laughed on air is when we had Jeremy Rutherford on, who's our blues insider, and he was and JR was doing a hit with us, and the blues were in Buffalo that night to play the Sabres. And Dunk was getting ready to ask JR a question. He said, So, you know, JR, the blues, the blues are playing the Buffaloes tonight, and you know, this is gonna be a runaway, right? And you could hear, you know, JR J and I during the sound clip kind of kind of pause a little bit. And then you can hear one of us chuckle and then dunk. And this is just part of the, the just the, how likable he is. He goes, he goes, I said Buffaloes, didn't I? I called them the Buffaloes. No, go ahead. You guys can laugh. You guys can laugh. And that was, uh, that was, that was funny in and of itself because, you know, the Buffalo Buffalo. So that turned into a bit. But honestly, the funniest part occurred because we had JR talking about his book when we first brought him on. He had written a book about the blues, 100 Things to, to Know Before You Die, if you're a blues fan. So we had previewed that book. So Dunk, and I could still see his face as he was about to like deliver this line. And he kind of went like this to me to kind of say like, I've got one more. So we're laughing about the Buffaloes. And this is part of his comedic timing. So he stops and he goes, JR, and he's laughing as he says it, he goes, JR, you gotta send me that book, man. Cause he didn't know, you know, cause he was, he was basically saying, I don't know hockey. I called this team the Buffaloes. He goes, JR, you gotta send me that book. So we, we let JR, <laughs> we let JR go and him and I could not stop laughing. And if you go back and listen to the audio on that, Dunk even says that he goes, I can't stop laughing. So that, that to me, despite all of the stories and you may hear better stories, but for me, that was the hardest I've ever laughed on air. And it was it was just a pure, innocent moment. Like he knew it was the Sabres, but that was also all right. He, so he kind of goofs up. He doesn't become the butt of the joke. He rolls with it. And then, you know, you got to send me that book, JR. And that was something I just always think of.